Hi, this is Francis from Easel. Today we're going to be talking about how to install the Easel driver and the FTDI driver for Windows computers. The Easel driver is necessary for connecting your computer to Easel, and the FTDI driver isn't necessary, but certainly can help if you're running into connectivity issues. So I typically recommend installing both at the same time uh, to save yourself some time, and occasionally you, you, you kind of skip a troubleshooting step if you have to figure out why your machine isn't connecting. Um, so we'll start uh, by opening a blank easel project, and then I'll select machine at the top of the page. We'll get a drop-down menu, and one of the options will be uh, drivers and post processors. When I click on that, it'll take me to a new tab that has uh, uh, easel driver at the top, and then it'll say download driver for Windows version 0.4.4. If for whatever reason your number is different or higher, so 0.4.5 or 0.6, it just means that we've updated the driver since this video was recorded and uh, it, it shouldn't change anything. And then below that there's an option to download the FTDI driver for Windows. So we're going to select download for Windows. We can see that the easel driver has downloaded from the downloads indicator in my browser. That might look a little different depending on the browser you're using. I'm using Microsoft Edge in this tutorial. And then I'll also go ahead and click on uh, download FTDI driver, and that's going to download that here. Um, you, you'll see off to the right of uh, the easel driver and FTDI driver, there's post processors. If you're using Fusion 360 or Vetric Aspire, that's where you would find the post processors for those. We'll cover those in another video, and I'll link that below. Now we're going to go to our Downloads folder. I'm going to do that by selecting the Manila folder icon at the bottom of my screen, um, and it'll open up a window. And then if you don't open directly into the Downloads folder, you'll need to select it from this left-hand toolbar. You'll just click on Downloads, and then it should open up. And you should see Easel Driver for the Easel Driver, and then CDM212364 underscore setup for the uh, FTDI driver. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do the easel driver first. I'll just double click on it and that'll start the process. Uh, it wants to ask me if I'll allow this to make changes to my device. I certainly do. And then it'll go through and say ready to install. And then it'll install. And we can kind of watch through that. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, it's going to uh, set up the easel driver and then we'll click on finish. And your, your easel driver is downloaded. For the FTDI driver, we're going to double click on it, and that'll open up the zip folder, and then this application setup is in there. If I double click on that, it's going to uh, ask me the same thing about changing, allowing this app to change changes to my device. I'll click on yes, and then extract, and then next, and you'll want to accept this agreement, and next, and it'll move through. It'll indicate that the drivers have been installed, and then we'll click on finish. Once both drivers have been installed, we're going to want to restart our computer to make sure that that setup process is complete. So once this is done, just restart your computer and then go ahead and, and go through and try to connect your machine to Easel. And that should be how to install the Easel driver and FTDI driver for Windows. Have a wonderful day. To learn more, head over to easel.com.